stay hydrated. What's up my fellow household appliances, it's your boy LJ. We're back with another video. Now this is something I get a lot of questions about. LJ, who makes your cover art? How do you make your album artwork? Can you teach me how to make my own cover art? Well guess what, here's the video. I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own album artwork. So there's two ways I'm gonna show you. The free on your phone way, which is the way I used to use a lot and I still use to this day sometimes. And the second way is the slightly more advanced Photoshop way. I'm gonna dive a little bit into how I make my artwork, my thought process, and the requirements and stuff you need for your artwork in order to get it up on all streaming platform using a service like our sponsor, DistroKid. Yep, DistroKid is back again, sponsoring another video. If you don't know what DistroKid is, it's pretty much the best way to get your music on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, TikTok, Instagram Stories, all that kind of stuff. One thing that's really cool about DistroKid, if you're a new artist, you can automatically get access to Spotify for artists, which means you get that little verified blue check mark on Spotify super quick through DistroKid, which is a click of a button. And not just Spotify, by the way, they can also give you quick access to your Apple Music for Artists account. So right through DistroKid, kid you can set that up super quick super smooth they also have a bunch of articles to help you as far as like the sizing requirements of your artwork and what type of artwork stores will reject i talk about digital kit a lot i love it i've been using it since the beginning of me putting out music definitely recommend it check it out if you want to sign up it's only $19.99 a year you can hit the link in my description and get seven percent off your first year now let's get into the video <music> First things first, let's go over the requirements, all right? Because this is really important. So right now I'm on DistroKid's help website. Minimum requirement for album art is 1,000 by 1,000 pixels, which is okay, but you're gonna want it to be 3,000 by 3,000. That's what I use. That's the best quality. They're gonna reject anything with a website URL, Twitter name, Instagram name, blurry, low quality, unlicensed stuff, anything that has a price on it or logos. I know a lot of people like to put a Spotify logo on their artwork just to try to make it look official or something. It can't have nudity, gross stuff, or any references to physical media. So this happened to me once before. Um, I had this artwork done and it had like a little movie stamp on it like that are on uh, movie boxes, but they rejected that. So if it's like a specific logo or branding mark that is like an official thing, you don't want to put that on there. Now that all that boring stuff is out of the way, let's get into it. So the app I use on my phone is called Over. By the way, we're on iPhone right now. Double check if any of this stuff is on Android. I'm sure there's some type of alternatives for Android. You're not gonna be left out. This is what it looks like over. So look, they're gonna talk to you about this uh, free trial, blah, blah, blah. You don't need it. Hit the X, all right? You got what you need already. So once you're in the app, you're just gonna wanna hit this plus right here now. You can either upload an image you already have or you can just upload white or black. Let's just go with transparent. Let's just have a blank slate. Choose side. So this is a square, but still, we're gonna make this three 3,000 by 3,000, all right? That's what you want it to be. So here's the thing you need to know about artwork, because I know a lot of people that were commenting about me making an artwork video are saying like they're not creative. Thing is, you have to be a little creative. You need to know what looks good and what looks bad. I'd advise you go do some research, look at your favorite artists, what kind of artwork they have, and try to figure out like, okay, is it simple? Is there a lot going on? A lot of people have really expensive art drawings, animations, and stuff like that, but some people just have really nice photos. So all you have to do is just doctor them up a little bit. Just doctor them up, but they're free. Let me show you how. Right down here, you go to image, and uh, there's gonna be your photos, favorites, whatever. You're gonna wanna go to this little section that says Unsplash. If you don't know what Unsplash is, Unsplash, is a, it's free, completely royalty free. You can do whatever you want with it. As long as you're not claiming that it's yours, you can credit the artist, everything will be smooth and silky. Let's do like a generic cover that's nice, all right? So you got like a summery vibe track, a summery song, and you need, it's wavy, all right? You need beach vibes, you need palm trees. Let's search up palm trees, boom. So look, now we got all these palm trees. Let's find one we like that's kind of simple, but cool at the same time. All right, so this is cool. What I'm gonna do is let's twist it a little zoom in so it fills it up that's something simple like honestly i don't want to come off as like oh this dude is lazy as hell just stealing photos if you're in a pinch and you just need artwork something like this will do you can pull up text if you really want to but i'm not a fan of text on my cover art i like to keep things simple let's say it's called wave y. let's see wave dot y i don't know bro you can put that there boom right in the center right here you can hit shadows that's like a drop shadow you can put the blur on it up the opacity or something if you want you can put on like filters 
but I prefer saving it. So like I would save this right away like that. And then I'll open up like an actual photo editing app like Visco Cam. Import it into Visco. Boom, here it is. Now they have way more filters. But if anything, I like how that looks and then just add like a bunch of grain. Grain is really like what makes everything hit. And that's it, boom. Now we have a solid cover. Like honestly, that's not bad. Now there's ways you can get really creative with it. So let's do one, paint. Look at this, this is a cool little pattern. That's kind of fire. Maybe let's just use that. Let's change the background back to white. And then where did that text go? Let's, begin blending Let's change the color to one of these colors. Just you can do some it. artsy stuff like this. Yeah. Boom. Now you got some weird artsy thing. Now, I don't know what this is, but I know that it's simple. It, it provokes thought, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, go look into Over. Maybe you can find some better tutorials on YouTube, but this is the gist of how to do it free, quick, easy on mobile. Just download some photos from Unsplash and mess with them. Or even go outside, take some pics with your iPhone or something interesting. Boom, throw a filter on it, throw some text on it, and over you're good to go now let me show you a little bit more complex things on photoshop one thing you need to know for me this tutorial is based off of art that i like and what i like is simplicity so let me show you a few things that i've made and things that i've done to make them so this is the cover art for my last b tape it's literally just a green color and a lighter green and that's my logo upside down but there's a meaning behind it right so la mesa is table in spanish the table is flipped this b tape was the instrumentals for my table flips it's simple but it has meaning this is a cover art i did for a song by felly called militia he wanted something simple Steven Universe thing. This is literally just pink background, Steven with no eyes, and a star. I got all these photos separately on Google and I put them together. Let me show you a little bit more complex of how I did that. So this is my Bojack Horseman cover art. What I do to get these minimalist drawings is I draw them. So I got this and I just started tracing over it. See look, these are the layers. Let me start taking them down. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. I go to this layer, I select the color, and then I'll just make sure I'm on the next layer above that, and I'll just start coloring it in. Holding shift so the lines will go with it. Boom, 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 boom. Coloring it in. Boom, there's that hair. Select his face color. Boom, boom, boom. Color, 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 color. Put that under him. Get this little white diamond. To make it easier on myself, I might use the magic wand. And then boom, new layer. Boom, boom, boom. That's colored in. Get rid of that. Boom, check it out. <laughs> we got a minimalist Bojack horse. So that's the gist of how I do it. Here's another more complex one I did. So this is the cover for my little EP Sunset Groups. Now, this is just a photo from Unsplash. This, that's a picture of me. I just deleted the background. That was me making beats at the beach. So I put some effect on it to get it dark and I just kind of made it small to make it seem like I was sitting on this cliff or whatever, this hill. And then I just added a random yellow circle because I saw that in some artwork and I thought it was cool that they just had a random circle there. And then boom, sunset groove, just threw it right there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I cannot teach you Photoshop. I am not that good. I just learned, like I took a Photoshop class in high school. I just kind of have stuff engraved in my brain. I would recommend finding out how you can get Photoshop, get some free trials, or like there's one called Giphy that's a free, go search up some alternatives and take the time to learn Photoshop or some type of Photoshop alternative. It'll pay you big time in the long run. Find your style, find what works for you. But in the meantime, just get on Unsplash, throw some grain on it twist things around and you'll be good to go so yeah if you like this video please hit that like button and drop a comment for the youtube algorithm help me get on some people's suggested pages if you want to sign up for district kid hit the link in the description you'll get seven percent off i hope you learned something i'm a table don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be thanks for streaming the music Eldra.